Okay, so basically I just burn plenty of glue that cover the area. Start on the outside, just work my way in. It will squidge around and find itself and it'll be absolutely fine. I'm just using a a lot tight glue. Just make sure you're using some super glue. I'm sure there's some other options out there. Um, and then what I do is I drop it down. I, I it's up and this it's important. Of course this is important, it's for my friend, but um, for what we're doing, I'm just milling out profile. So I just give it a good old push. Give it a little squidge. If you really want to, you can give it probably a little tap with a nylon hammer just to make sure it squished through. I do it from time to time when I'm not so sure. And just give it some time to dry. So what I talk about is the tools that I'm using. I, I can spend a bit more money on tools if I really, really want to. But I like using um, just these ones from eBay. They're four pounds um, and they work really well. I'm just going to find one that's got them here. Somewhere. There we go. Good old two flute, four mil. Apparently, tongues and carbide. I don't know if it is. So it feels heavier than a high speed steel, but you find that. That one's used. This one. There we go. Um, I'm just looking for a fresh one to use. We've got ones that have already done some work, so we could use them, see how well they fare. Um, they do a good job. Oh, I've got one here. I've got a brand new one. So they, I, I, uh, mess it, I, I get everything off eBay or any tool, um, uk. They've been good so far. They're really fast to getting the tools out. Um, and so I'll just trim off the little label bit here. They look nice enough. They don't break on me. Um, obviously, for £4, you're going to get £4 worth of tool. It's not going to be as good as your... 15 or your 30 or, or however much you want to spend but at the end of the day this is a hobby and you've got to do it within what you can afford. So that's okay, let's get it in focus. So there's a nice little two flute. Um, it's got a bit of stick out so it's not stick out so it's got a flute length of around I think it's 10, 10 mil. Um, and so I'm going to fit that into the collet now. We'll just Line up the mill, we'll bring that forwards to us so we're not reaching too far. Okay. Right, I've got a little four mil collet to go in there. So I will use my tools to get away. Whilst that's happening, I'm going to put the compressor on actually so it can build a bit of a pressure. Hope that's not too noisy for you. Can't do much about it if it is. Got quite a long fluted cutter, which I was doing a, a job for work. We can't see it here. So it's quite nice actually. Well, this is um, one of the also make of it again. It's by is it IG or whatever their name is. I got it from uh, Cutwell. Um, again, that's a nice company to look at. They do quite well priced tooling, like actually really good, like 15 quid for a tool that really performs well and I should probably buy some more of their tools. Um, sometimes it's easier to buy a four quid tool, but when you're machining you can hear it's not passing as nice as the other one. So I've got my, my other collet, I'm just going to pop it in, just make sure it's clean. Um, with these little spindles, I'm upgrading this soon, I hope I do some videos on it. Um, I just make sure there's just no rubbish in there. Um, clean out the collet that was being used. Where have I put that? I've got my, my airline here. I'm just going to give it a little blast out. That's all good. Pop it together. Pop that in there. And I'm going to make it stick out to the bare minimum. So just taking it up to where the flute just ends. So I didn't create a little stress riser. Um, I think it's a stress riser, right? Uh, from where the it bolts on, so it's on nice straight shaft. So that's nice and tight. I'm just gonna find the top of the surface. I use a piece of paper. I should probably use a piece of foil, um, but I use my piece of paper. Got my. I haven't sorted myself out of control yet. 
So I use the arrow keys and the down and up for the pages on this to do um, the movements for Sesh. My friend Ian normally helps me with uh, getting a bit more tech savvy on the front of this. We're going to do hopefully some tool change macro stuff with him as well. He's going to help me. So I just touch onto the papers, hit it, drags. When you do it enough, you kind of get a good feel for it. I'll hit zero, and they normally add 0.08 because it's about that, that thick. So, um, and I'll zero that one. And then we'll just run it to the corner, and then we'll just wrap it over to here. Lots of rapid align. Uh, it sometimes stalls and loses a step here and there if I go too fast. So I've limited it to only 2000 on that. So anyway, I'm in my corners, I'm just going to zero these on my X and Y. Um, I'm only going to run the tool at, um, I think, 11,000 um, on RPM. I'm just going to point in the corner. It's going to do all the holes first, then it's going to do a roughing pass, and then it would do uh, the finishing pass. So that's all ready to go. I'll turn on my airline. That's going to blow it away, and we'll see how it all goes. Um, and we'll just have a listen to the whole thing as we get going. Again, I apologise for the noise, but we'll see how it's going. I believe the super glue will be dry, but by the time it gets there, it should be good. So normally that's enough time for it. Okay, so that's working out all right. The sheen of my holes down, and now it's four mils. Doing a, a two mil depth of cut, um, and doing a quick all room pattern coming out. I'm only doing a tiny bit of cut. Um, it's actually less than 10% because I'd baby it when I'm just doing small little jobs that I can't be bothered to worry about. Um, just so I don't feel like I can clear with the chips, but sometimes I go more, sometimes I'm So we'll just see if we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit more than that. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit more than Again, I'm just baiting it around. We'll see how this goes, we'll do the trimming out, we'll see how the whole size is looking. And then um, so we'll get on with it. It's really good to probably stop it after there's all the, the holes so you can see what happens. Uh, and I should go full depth and trim it all. I'm happy with all the holes. Um, I'm going to finish with that operation. So the next two, if we zoom in nice and closely, we'll see a double line. So you've got the roughing pass, which is the outside one, if you're not already into this. You're probably watching this because you're interested in DIY CNC. And then I'll come back and I've got a point one that you should cut. So just do a nice finishing cut. Yeah, it's doing a nice job of blasting that way, and I've got a bit of lubricant blasting on it to keep it nice. So, I need you guys to watch that.
just gonna run around to the on the top of each cat. A nice tiny cat. Just enough to give it a nice shiny finish on the edge. And then the leading moves. So we have to find what we're doing here. And it comes around. I'm pretty happy. Going around. A nice speed. I think we should look harder. Not going to be hard. About 750 millimeters per minute. That's 12,000 RPM. And did a point one width of the cut just to clean up that edge, so it's really, really nice. So you'll see that they've come off there. I actually ran out of memory on my phone during the recording, but I freed it up, getting rid of some uh, Netflix. But those parts came off pretty nicely. Surface finish is good for you know my machine. It's it's a a machine which has got linear rails, a high speed spindle on it. But I'll improve it with the mods that I want to do to it. But yeah, the parts came okay. I'll get on the Scotch Bright, clean it up, deburr everything, get it really nice, and uh, hopefully Ben will be happy. So the parts worked out quite nicely. Excuse my dirty fingers, I should have worn gloves. Even some nice oily prints on here. But just run it over the Scotch Bright wheel. They go on to this part, which gets bolted to the engine. I'll have to speak to Ben about. Uh, you know how it all goes together, it'd be good to do uh, some pictures on my Instagram. I'm uh, TrishBits86. Um, you'll see the other bits and bobs that I've made on my machine. And my process of building my machine as well, which is only some, just a few pictures of over the different months I was doing it. But no, I'm pretty happy with these. The edge finish is good. Um, they're going to get powder coated, so they're going to look nice. But just want to say thanks for watching. Hope the video wasn't too bad. Um, I know the audio probably wasn't the best, I've just been doing it all off my iPhone. But anyway, thank you anyway.